We're live, pal. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live, pal. <laughs> Got to catch you off guard. I know, yeah. It's perfect way to start the season. Again, I was waiting for a little bit more of the, the, the preamble, but, uh, but yeah, we're right into it. Uh, Leader of the Pack, episode three, season five. Uh, back, the first episode back in the home studio. Um, the first two were uh, remote episodes. Thank you to, um, to Richie for hosting uh, the kickoff. Where we thought we'd get more into those stu- uh, stadium clubs, but we oh, really, yeah. we slowed down. Well, and I was the sickest boy in America. And you were very tired and, and not feeling uh, 100%. Uh, but uh, we got through, uh, I guess, half of the box or a quarter of the box. We may revisit them. Yeah, there's still a bunch over I there. I got ideas for them, by the way. I was thinking, like, if we do, you know, some special episodes, maybe we, like, give those away as prizes. Because I don't know if there's anything. The world really may great, never know. Great net. Well, they will know. We sense. just don't know yet. So that was episode one, for anybody who was catching up, episode one. Uh, episode two was uh, the football kickoff special, where we thought we were going to uh, trick our host, Steve Mazzano, Basement Bar Show, and we were going to say, like, oh, it's a mystery pack of NFL cards, and we don't know what it is. We knew, because we're diabolical people. Yeah. Um, everybody else knew. Everybody else knew. Steve knew two cards in. He was like, it seems like it's all Rams. Therefore... Uh, joke was on us, but, uh, <laughs> and the pack that was, that was purchased for me <laughs> was opened while I was not on I know camera. You were not on camera. <laughs> I thought, I th- see, that's, that's on us. This is brand new equipment that we're using. So like aiming the camera to get you in the shot. It, it just, there's, there's usually not a lot of operating space. That's the problem. What I'm thinking is for season six, question mark, we get a stand up. We get a stand up or we get a crane. And we do crane shots. <laughs> and we hire. Which we'll is fly it in on a drone. We just fly. Ooh. Yeah, the drones would be noisy. Drones are very noisy. Oh, well, we can figure case, something out. In case you haven't realized. Maybe we swing it like we make a little trapeze and we put the, the camera on the trapeze and it kind of. You know, it, it settles in. Let's, let's, you know. This is all. This is production meetings. This is behind the scenes stuff. You guys don't need to know this. Um. But yeah, uh, episode three, uh, Home Office, Tops 2003, Series uh, series 2, Major League Baseball cards. So there might actually be a Matsui in there if it's a Series 2. There could, yeah. We were talking off camera. That, uh, Mats- this is the first year that Matsui was, uh, was in the United States. Godzilla himself. The, uh, this is fairly new to the, uh, having to put the odds of opening what cards on oh, the yeah. back. Well, could chock full of relics and chock full of... Uh, Specialty cards, autograph cards, you name it, that was in there. Uh, Producer Matt, you've got uh, notes Yes, yeah, so there was a couple of draft picks that you noted, BJ Upton and Cole Hamels. Mm-hmm. Prospect cards, Joe Maurer, Justin Morneau, the double, yeah, uh, double, side side. double, and then uh, Chase Utley, Gavin Floyd. Mm-hmm. Uh, the relics in this set are wood chips from the bat. Yes. From baseball bats. And then there's also wood chip. There's standard wood chips, and then there's autograph wood chips. So A-Rod, Barry Bonds, Robbie Alomar, all looking for those. Yeah. But from most, eBay again, Rug- just, Wrigley. Yeah. So our guy that sold us the pack is oh. uh, Wrigley, Wrigley and Ivy gotcha. on eBay. So uh, shout out to that store. If you're on eBay and you're looking for wax packs, you're looking for – they got a lot of cool stuff from the 80s and the early 90s. Anybody that's getting into collecting now, anybody that's getting into uh, the hobby of opening up random packs, that's a guy to go find. Wrigley N, the letter N, Ivy, on uh, on eBay. You'll find good deals. Um, dirt cheap, by the way. I think I got this for like a dollar fifty. So um, it was a combination. You get a bunch of stuff of them. His name will come up later on in the season when we're doing more. Um, also, want to thank our our new. Sponsors when it comes to the uh, equipment, not necessarily sponsors, but the the folks who uh, made provide us with the equipment that we purchased. Us Key Vision or US Key Vision, I don't know. Us Key Vision, uh, this fantastic new microphone that I'm hoping sounds really great. The uh, the tripod, the little shop mounts, everything that you you don't see on camera is provided by uh, the folks at uh, at us. Key Vision. I'm guessing U.S. Key Vision. U.S. Key Vision? Okay. Right. Unless the H got cut off and it's supposed to be Husky Vision. Husky Vision. <laughs> well, then we'd be a lot beefier. Not that we're not beefy enough. Patrick's saying it sounds good, so we're going to roll good. with it. 100% on the microphone. So we're going to roll with this. Uh, by the way, first day of fall today. 
Um, happy, cool. happy fall. Big, big fan of the fall. Number one, if I'm power ranking the seasons, fall is the, is the best. I guess you could say you're a legend of the fall. Legend of the fall. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, see? It was like... Dad jokes coming in right hot. There. Um, but no, fall's the best. I, I feel fall is the time for the creatives to come out. Put that on a... Put that on an inspirational pillow. I might need a knife. Fall is the time for creatives. Don't cut yourself with the knives, everybody. I'll tell you at the end who I met over the weekend, by the way. Oh, yeah. You know, but the yeah. fans at home might not know. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, uh, first card off the top, Oakland A's team card. Shout out to Billy Bean and the, uh, the what's that Billy Bean movie? Moneyball? Moneyball. Those, that's the cast of Moneyball. 103 and 59. 20 game win streak, four longest longest losing streak, four games. Pretty impressive. That's impressive. Those are analytics don't die. Key vets: Miguel Tejada, Barry Zito, hot prospects: Bobby Crosby, Rich Harden. I remember both of those gentlemen. Yeah, Rich Harden. And uh, also, did they give credit to that guy's computer? For no, the, not on the back of this. Cy Young winner Barry Zito, twenty three and five, two point seven five ERA. Yeah. Tim Hudson and Mark Mulder also part of that. It's a good team. It's a good team. Cobb. First round knockout by Minnesota in the ALDS. So is that what it was? Second card off the top. Um, so ooh, stuck these together. Are still a, little stuck, a little stuck together, boys. That's okay. They're, they're slick cards. We've got uh, Angel, at, as an angel at this time, Frankie Rodriguez. Second Francisco. Year Second year? Um, he's very young in this. Um, had a long career. Second year in the in the majors. So he's second year in the majors in two thousand three. Angels for five seasons. Four Signed five in ninety eight as a free agent, but went through their both their minor yeah. league system for a while. Yeah. K Rod. That was his name. K Rod, Frankie K Rod Rodriguez. Yes. Yes, but he was again. He was a for a while there, a good. Decade, half a decade. He was a pretty, uh, a pretty filthy pitcher, as they say. Bobby Cox. Speaking of filthy people, <laughs> manager. I guess like to trick you into saying that this is a manager card, they're gonna put, they're gonna partner up with the Sporting News. And they're gonna write a paragraph on the back about um, something. I didn't even read the back of it. I just moved along because you know, it's a, it's Bobby Cox, and b, it's a manager card, and c. I just don't care. But Bobby Cox is a tough guy. I have nothing to say about Bobby, you know. Excellent. Draft pick cards. We did note that there were going to be some draft pick cards. Here we have Joey Gomes of the then Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Joey Gomes, not... Johnny. Johnny Gomes or Jan Gomes. He's Joey Gomes. Catcher? Just like everybody else. Outfielder. Gomes. Outfielder. So he's on your feet, Gomes. He's a utility player. Okay. Comparative to Darren Erstead. <laughs> that's what it that's says on the back. That's, I just... That's, that's a comparison. Chicago White Sox team photo. We got two team photos. Oh, come two. on. Two team photos of manager card. Guys, I... It was a shout-out to Wrigley and Ivy. 81 and 81. Okay. Seven-game win streak, seven-game losing streak. Egan Stevens. Key vets, Mark Burley... Yeah. Maglio or Dornias. True. Hot prospects. Joe Burchard and Corwin Malone. Mm. Paul Canerco batted 304 this year. Maglio batted 320. But then the White Sox, <clears> like, <throat> they got better in the next couple of years. World Series appearance? Yeah, somewhere <laughs> around there. Yeah. Finally, here we go. Hall of Famer. Record breaker here. Greg Maddox. Ooh. Atlanta Brave Greg Maddox? Yep. Distinguished looking? 1.56 ERA. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Dominant pitcher. Um, a first ballot Hall of Famer. Probably a guy who would be still, like if you walked out on the mound today, he could probably get 90% of the guys to just whip and and 
snap their bats. 2005, we're, I'm getting word from your brother, uh, White Sox won the... the yeah. This guy was on the team, I think, then. Yes. It's the, one of the baseball scumbags, A.J. Przinsky. Huge scummy, scummy guy. Scummy guy. Tough, bully, mean, uh, relentless. What's other words for, for tough? Uh, sure. there's, there's a couple. Sure. There's a couple words that I could say, but it's a kid's show. <laughs> Sports jerk, A.J. Brzezinski. Uh, pretty much nothing. Philadelphia Phillies third baseman, Tyler Houston. The name is ringing a bell, but I don't... Mm. This, this is right in, the, right in my ballpark of yeah, uh, players, you're but... You're coming into to knowing players' names now. But I don't think Tyler Houston went anywhere in his, uh, in his illustrious career. He was drafted by the Braves in 96, so... Okay. And he never made it to the minors. Interesting. Right. He had a three thirty nine batting average in 96 with the Cubs. But that was in 46 games. Mm, okay. Tail end of the season guy. Yeah. Um, pretty much Mendoza line guy, though. Yeah. And, like, uh, off the bench kind of utility type That's why player. it's not exciting to us. I like the cards. I like the, the, the bottom part. It's my favorite. <laughs> Juan Pierre it, uh, just spotted in the background, background with Derek Lee. <laughs> yeah. 2003 Cubs. No, uh, no, 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 no. Are we Cubs? Marlins. Cubs. Marlins. They would be they would be Cubs together, I think, at some point. Uh, Marquise Grissom. This is uh, the probably the 10th season of Marquise Grissom. Maybe 12th? Um, speedy. Fast. 12th. 12th season. Good mustache in that card. I will point that out. Played for the Expos, Braves, Indians, Brewers, Dodgers, and then the Giants. Suitcase guy. Suitcase guy galore. And almost a very, like, it's starting with the Expos, but also not originally from Canada. Marquis Grissom, or Marquise Grissom. Very French-sounding name. Uh, so, in 96, he missed two games, but that was the only year he batted over 300. Oh. So, he played in 158. And he batted 308. three oh eight. Every other season, he was under three hundred. Under three hundred. Oh, okay. But like you know, two ninety eight, two eighty eight. Yeah. Very interesting ball player. Very interesting ball. Again, like I said, I, th- I remember him being speedy and a good outfielder. Uh, final guy, third baseman. Um, one of the one of the guys who is uh, in his career a Met and a Yankee, Robin Ventura. Met Yankee. Uh, also choked by and choked and punched by Nolan Ryan. Nice. So that's I don't think that's on the back of his card though. No, no, no. Punch victim here. from Nolan Ryan. Another guy only batted over three hundred once. Hmm. Yeah, but he was he's a heart and soul of your of your team when he's out there when he's playing one hundred percent. Do you know what year he batted over uh, three hundred? Is it 2002 as a Yankee? No, first year with the Mets. First year with the Mets. Well, did we get a high check on him? Do you want to do, do a high check? Yeah. Let's do a high check. Yeah. Do a high mean, check. I didn't to, to put that down, but I'm just wondering if the chat, like they didn't get it in the first two episodes. There's only three people watching, but we'll get it. Those people know what heights are. Yeah. High check. High check. Everybody gets the Robin Ventura. Robin Ventura. Drew White, one of Drew Weissholt's favorite baseball players. We got a six foot two from Patrick. Shout out to the Diamond. Let's get a guess, Mike. Robin Ventura is six foot. I was gonna say, can I also say six foot two? Dan's saying five ten. Five ten, very short. Hmm. Hmm. Making me second guess. Uh, I'm gonna go six one. Okay. I'm gonna go uh, a little bit short. Kim said six three, and um, you are one for one on the year on height checks, my yeah! friend. Yeah, it's the fall. That's what it is. It's my. It's my. It's my season because I'm a creative. Uh, so six one. We should get a little bored. Can we get a graphic? No, that's no, good. that's, that's good gonna. I'll, just, I'll get a little <laughs> scroller. You just you see me going like this on the bottom. Yeah, just a little piece of paper that says one for one for one, one and zero in high checks, <laughs> and I'll ruin that. It'll be it'll be one for nine in the next month. We we got to get something up there or or, or somewhere in the in the house. Yeah, that... we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Maybe Dan said it's not in the budget. It's not nothing's in the budget. This budget. The budget barely pays for the knife. Um, 
leader of that pack is uh, is Greg Maddox, clearly. Record breaker. Even if it's a specialty card, a record breaker card is, you know, when you get a Hall of Famer out of that pack. It's a kind of a big deal. Bobby Cox a Hall of Famer, too. Yeah. But Hall of Fame <laughs> manager and Hall of Fame player, that's... My take on that exactly. That's here's the guy that's that's driving the motorcycle. Here's the guy in the sidecar. Are they both going to Cooperstown? Sure, but I want my guy who actually like wins games, not my guy that thinks about winning games. Big difference between players and there it was. Just broke down baseball for you. There's the thinkers and the doers. Does the player's wife get in the Hall of Fame? Does she? No. So why no. should the manager? Well, I don't think. You know what I like? That's. I don't think the manager of the team and a wife are really the same thing. They both play a different part and is equal, mm-hmm. equally as important role. But they both get mentioned. Supporting the, the player. Supporting the player. Sometimes a little bit more than others. Other wives are are kind of dirty. Two thousand three, wasn't that the year of uh, Anna Benson? Saying, "Hey, if my husband ever cheats, I'll go floozying around town." Watch the watch those players' wives. Uh, Is that the shot? There's reference to Roger Dorn. No, well, that's, that's true too. His wife went. went yeah, uh, that the that's the show. That's the show. That's the show. Um, I'm gonna let you get back to, to doing your puzzle. I mean, I knew that was gonna get brought up. Uh, I'm enjoying my puzzle. It's a puzzle. He's a puzzle guy now. Puzzling producer man has become puzzling man. It when I'm not on, when I'm on, not on this side of the camera. <laughs> Well, maybe, again, thinking of things to hang on the wall, maybe we get the puzzle on the wall. No. No? This is just for purely educational purposes? Because then I'm going to want donuts all the time. <laughs> That's an excellent point. Yeah, the puzzle is donuts. Uh, so we are back on Saturday morning at, I think, 11.45. Special uh, 1991. A special episode for Ryder Cup weekend. Any of you golf fans... If, if anybody is, is up and awake at, uh, at 11.45 on Saturday, we'll be opening up, uh, not I, I will be producing, uh, PM and uh, Basement Bar Show Steve will be doing a, uh, an episode with the, uh, with the Pro Tour 1991. Dan, it's not a 10-piece puzzle, it's a 1,000-piece puzzle. Excellent. So. Excellent. Try and just, just cut off. You know, they're just trying to cut the... It's Kim, and Kim, Kim is Kim standing up for me. Creativity. Kim loves puzzles. Creativity, that's what fall's all about. It's for the creatives. Summer's for the surfers. Uh, winter is for the cold people. Jocks. And spring spring is uh, second best. That's what my birthday is. Second best. Spring. <laughs> uh, producer Matt on the other side. Watch out. Well, that's uh, a microphone. camera. Microphone. That's right, yeah. Beautiful microphone. Uh, for myself, for... Uh, this bird, who the seagull is apparently uh, um, an, uh, an insurance driver. agent. No, no, he's a he's a bus driver. Um, Sandy the Sandy the seagull, who's a lunch pal guy too. Howard Johnson, who I met over this weekend, shout out to Hojo, uh, autographed. Big fan. Saw my leader of the pack T-shirt. Didn't ask any questions about it, but still a great guy. And uh, from Muda, watching over us. So. Uh, Everybody, uh, up to steal a phrase, keep it tight. I'm trying to hit the fin.